the Red Dead Redemption 2 map has leaked as of last night and it's uh, it's huge. I must admit that I don't like looking at leaks and I don't want things being spoiled for me but when I took a look at the leaked map considering it wasn't any story spoilers I was absolutely blown away by the sheer size of the map. We're going to be talking about that in today's video and also the strategy guide that's recently leaked last night as well coming from the same source over on Reddit. So yes, the origins of these leaks come from Reddit last night and I was browsing through, looking through the filters and filtered it by the newest posts available on the Red Dead Redemption subreddit. And I came across this leak where someone has actually received the official strategy guide for Red Dead Redemption 2 from Piggyback Books. And they've managed to take some photos with their mobile phone of the map, the horses, the weapons and tons of details. Now the biggest warning about this is as follows. I'm not going to be covering any story spoilers in today's episode because quite frankly none have come out and I wouldn't really want to spoil the game for myself anyway. But there are spoilers floating around the internet, especially ones from the origins of a Japanese website that potentially could spoil the end of the game. With the strategy guide now leaked, it's only a matter of time before that gets into the hands of the wrong people and people go around spoiling the story for people who haven't even played it yet. So let's talk about the leaked map for a second here. The map was leaked last night by this anonymous user on Reddit and I must say if you do want spoilers then of course you can continue watching. I'm not going to be spoiling any missions or anything like that but I will be saying one thing about the map right now. So allegedly the map does not include Mexico but it does include the new map and the northern area of the old map from Red Dead Redemption 1. So we can expect places such as Armadillo, Tumbleweed, all the way up to McFarlane's Ranch and Blackwater, and of course the entire new map of the game. But there's only a tiny segment of Mexico included in the game. Supposedly, these leaks say that there is going to be a tiny area of Mexico available. So this is much bigger than we anticipated originally. When we heard that there was going to be Blackwater, we had speculation that the old map would be returning. Then we saw a glimpse of Armadillo in the first gameplay trailer and the second gameplay trailer and people started to piece things together and say, hey look, I think the old map is returning. But we never actually got official clues or glimpses into Mexico. So it's awesome to know that the northern part of the old map is allegedly returning. It's not 100% confirmed, but this is what's been floating around the internet. It's not coming from me directly, but Mexico will not be returning. But that is much, much bigger than we previously thought was going to be available. And to be honest with you, that's as much as we need. The map is going to be absolutely huge. So the other things that leaked along with the map from the strategy guide were the weapons and the horses. Now disclaimer, I haven't looked through these myself and I will not be describing every horse and weapon in today's video. I think that's kind of a detail that you guys deserve to find out yourself. If you want to go and find the leaks, of course you can go ahead and find the leaks online or you can join our Discord. The link will be in the description where you guys can go over there and visit that, talk with all of the subscribers here from the Bandit Camp and the Bandit Army and of course you can also unite ready for the release of the game. However, in this leak there is indeed 20 horses that have been detailed with statistics, names and where to find them and there's also been weapons from revolvers to melee weapons all the way to rifles and shotguns. And I believe there's over 50 weapons in the game, however I can't confirm that 100%, like I said I haven't looked at that myself. Like I said, the links will be in the description if you guys want to go and visit these pages yourself and take a look. And of course, you can visit GTA forums or the Red Dead Redemption 2 subreddit over on Reddit or our Discord and find all the latest information on these leaks. I just wanted to say before we finish this video off today, guys, there is a big warning right now. Stay clear of the internet if you guys do not want the story being spoiled for you. Like I said, a Japanese website may or may not have leaked the ending and that that's already been spoiled to me in the comment section and I don't even know if it's true or not but now it's in the back of my mind laying there like a dormant volcano waiting to explode and if I get to the end of the game and that really is the end I'm always going to be thinking about that so it's pretty much already been spoiled for me if it's true. It's really really big shame that people do that online but it's just a warning for you guys as well. So that's all for today guys. Stay cool, stay awesome and make sure you guys stay safe on the internet and try and avoid any spoilers if you want the experience to be first hand yourself. Adios.